So today I'm carrying on with most blinds and I'm going to take a look at the turtle mode of the most blind object. So I'm just going to create a simple most blind here and I'm going to set the mode to turtle. Now turtle basically uses formulas uh, known as L systems and you can do a lot of reading on this. It's basically like a general kind of uh, mathematical concept. It's not like special to Cinema 4D. And, but very simply, the premise is basically the formula and the rules are basically variables. So um, by default, you get this pretty complicated formula here, which is creating like a tree. And um, if I use the grow slider, I can basically animate this tree growing out. But today we're gonna start with a very kind of simple um, formula. So I'm just gonna delete all of this in here. For the premise, I'm gonna write capital F, which means move forward, and then hold down shift and backslash, which creates this kind of divider line. And that's basically, um, it means rotate. And then I'm gonna put A, which is basically um, sort of a variable. Now, in the rules, I'm gonna write um, A equals minus which means turn left f move forward so move forward left shift backslash so rotate uh, 180 degrees and I'm just gonna leave it there to show you what happened whoops so that's the this is like the weird most spline we get and I'm just gonna set the object to line mode like that and I'm going to give it a bright color so you can see it better on the screen. So we basically got this uh, triangular kind of spline. And if I just animate the growth, you can see that it goes forward and then kind of rotates out. So that's what our formula is basically doing. So this bit here is saying A equals move forward and then um, move forward left and then rotate which is what it's basically doing. So um, I can control the default angle here. I'm going to set that to 180. And now if I animate the growth uh, slider, it's basically rotating out 180 degrees. Except it basically stops after a one rotation. So what I need to do is I'm just going to go back to my formula and at the end here I'm going to put A which means it's basically going to loop forever. So if I now pull on the growth slider, it's pretty much carrying on indefinitely like that. Now we can go beyond 10, 12, 13, 14, like that. So we can use this uh, in a NURBS object. So I'm just going to create a extrude like this. I'm going to drop the most spline in it. And you might have to play with uh, the movement settings. So this should be zero here. And um, I'm going to increase the Y value like that. I'm going to just put it into hidden line mode. So if I now animate the growth slider, I've got this uh, polygon kind of unfolding effect which is quite cool. So I'm just going to animate this, just put some keyframes on it. And then um, I'll start at 10, growth 0, and go to 90, and make the growth, say, 30, like that. Or maybe 40. And I'm just going to adjust my extrude so it looks kind of like a square. So 10. And now I've got this animation of this thing kind of building out, which is really cool. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to clone this. So I'm just going to create a cloner and drop the extrude nerves in there. We get several strips. And I'm just going to adjust the Y down to a 10. So it's kind of, there's no uh, gaps. 
and then I can just increase the count and we get this basically wall of this kind of wall building up like this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the cloner a random effector, except instead of position, I'm going to offset the time down here. So now we get this cool kind of delay effect of uh, these polygons kind of building a wall. So we can create lots of cool structures with this. Um, I'm going to hit Alt-G to put the cloner into a group like that. And inside of this group, I'm going to add a bend deformer. And we can create uh, lots of cool shapes with this. If uh, two objects are inside of a null, um, basically the deformer in that null is affecting this cloner. That's how it works. So I'm just going to put the bend into a unlimited mode like that. And I'm just going to bend it just to see which direction it's kind of going in. So we could actually bend this uh, like this. And pretty much create a kind of tube uh, animation effect. I'm just going to keep Y axis length. Whoops. It's a bit fiddly, but uh, let's see should mathematically snap it seems to be snapping at 489 that doesn't seem right should be around 500 hmm. 500 degrees which is quite strange but you'll kind of know the value it kind of snaps it because it's going to be like a roundish kind of number so if i play this back we've got this very cool uh, tube um construction kind of animation except the flaps are kind of flapping uh, inwards, which is, looks a bit strange, I guess. So I think I should be able to hit minus 500, and now it's going the other way, the way I kind of want it to animate. So that's a lot cooler there. Let's see. So a pretty cool effect. I'm just going to turn off the bend in the viewport just to show you the animation. Okay. And if you really want, uh, you could add some thickness to this. Go to, um, where is it? Cloth, cloth surface. And then uh, put that null below the cloth surface and give it some thickness. As you can see, it gives us like these fat kind of polygons. Put the thickness to two, maybe. Um, I guess that's kind of strange. A more useful uh, tip is if you want this object to seem smooth, because right now it's very kind of faceted, you can put this null into a connect object. So connect objects located here, and you can drop that null in, and it basically welds everything together. And we get this kind of smooth uh, look now. Form shading is much smoother. But um, I'm just going to delete that connect object. And I'm going to see what else I can do. Go back to hidden line. So we can bend different ways, of course. That's one way to bend. We could also uh, rotate this to get different types of um, effects. So look, 180, nope. I think 90 should give something interesting, yeah. So if you snap to kind of 90 degree increments. So this is uh, 90 degrees. And we've got this kind of cool uh, circular build pattern. Kind of like a spider web. And if you want to flip the direction, just plus or minus the value. So that's interesting. And I'm just going to try rotating again. Maybe uh, my gizmo is pretty small. But uh, let's see, 90 degrees, it's completely flat. Go this way. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to try this handle here. And 
and now it's kind of going this way. And I think we've kind of over uh, wrapped this one, so I'm going to halve it, see what happens. So that's a pretty cool effect. And it seems to over wrap slightly, so I'm just going to try and find that snap point. Let's have a look 223, 224, 225 seems to do it. So that's pretty cool. So basically there's a there's a lot of combinations we can do and um, I'll let you kind of play around with it and discover some other combinations. We've always got flat. Let's try 45 degrees. And then um, we can always come here and just fine tune the rotation. Like that. Probably easier to do it from the kind of um, tool panel. So that's the tubing we did. What else do we have uh, this way? Try 180. Let's try 270 here. And I'm back to the kind of disc object. Now it's kind of spiraling out so yeah have a play around and um have fun thanks for watching